Hello and welcome to another set of reading from Lotus Love Tarot 555. Thank you so much for joining us again. I, I always begin my readings by first saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to give our channel, that you continue to give our Instagram uh, channel as well. And please make sure you go and follow us at Lotus Love Tarot 555. But I just want to always begin by telling you thank you. Now, this reading today is the love forecast. We do this once a month and you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Now, remember that the messages do flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Oh, and hello to our cross watchers out there. Now, I have already pre-shuffled and we can move quickly past that portion. And also, I have started daily readings. So make sure you tune in to us every day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little bell right there so you can get the daily notifications. But I'm quite sure just having that insight on what to expect in that day is going to really begin to help you out a lot because I know it has already blessed me and has already blessed several that have uh, watched the dailies and have even you know gone as far as to get the extended which goes just a little bit further into the situations that are occurring all right um i think i already said make sure you follow us on instagram and also don't forget that with these readings there's no time limit so it could have happened three months ago it could happen today it could happen in the near future all right i love you guys so much and now on to your reading Hello, my Taurus. Let's get right into your reading. And this reading is for the um, love forecast, okay, for June. But let me go back to your May reading. Your May reading said that the secret was out and you were moving on. All right, so let's see what's going on for June. Ooh, that secret. For those that don't remember that reading, you need to go back and check it out. It's the, under the um, love forecast, the monthly love forecast. That's the playlist it's under. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of the stars as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June? more messages for the son of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019. Taurus love forecast for June. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2000? Wow, right out the box. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth? Creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? All right, that one was determined it was going to slip out, and with force it did. All right, Taurus, the first thing, our first card out was make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take, okay? So it looked like from that secret being out and you were moving on, apparently you are in the space of another person or this could be uh, the same person and you've just made amends, but Spirit said you guys need to get away, okay? It's time to disconnect for the, from the world because this is your true love. So you are safe, whoever you're with, this is a true love. Um, this is the romance of a lifetime, the space that you're in right now. Tranquility, make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. This came in one of your daily readings, too. 
Um, this is a, definitely a card that I know popped up for Taurus where you needed to rest and self forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. So whatever you need to forgive yourself about, whatever situation has occurred that you're feeling guilty about, self forgiveness, forget it and move on. Okay. Take yourself through the healing process of what you need to go through and then move on. But it's a wonder to me how this card came right before spending time outdoors. I always say this when we get this card about spending time outdoors. This is when spirit is saying, come into me. Come into the place that I reside, which is nature. Okay? Which is by a lake. In the forest. You know, especially, you know, in the woods. You know, just sitting back out on your patio and watching the flowers bloom and the birds sing. Spend time outdoors because that's where you'll get a clarity of mind. This is where everything from the hustle and bustle of daily life will clear out. Okay? And so this is where you can get this self-forgiveness and spirit will begin to speak to you. And then spirit is saying, look here, it's perfect timing. Okay, this is the right time for you to move forward. So whatever you're moving forward with, maybe this new person here, this is the perfect timing. Okay, in spring, your desire fully manifests as the flowers begin to bloom. We just talked about that, um, you know, with, with this being springtime, summer hasn't come about yet. But in some areas of the world, um, you know, it's different time, it's different seasons. So spring, uh, when spring comes, um, that is when things will manifest for you. It all depends what part of the world that you stay in. And Spirit is saying, I need you to get more information. I need you to get more information. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're about to embark on, whether it be a business venture, might be your love life, whatever it is, Spirit says, I just need you to get a little bit more information for you lock all the way down in this, okay? All right, but let's see, get more, a little bit more clarity. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth? Any more messages for the sign of Taurus? Anything else Taurus needs to know for June 2019? Flip right in the middle. Okay, let me take these the way I need to take them. <clears throat> okay, my Taurus, um, you have representing the signs here, you have yourself. <laughs> You've shown up in your own sign, Tar. Chariot is Cancer. You got cups here. You got cups back to back, which is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then uh, Pentacles with that Earth energy as well with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So again, it, that you could be dealing with that sign or it could be just taking on the energy of the sign. But you also have um, angel codes that are coming in and very profound ones too you have two fives five five but you also have ten 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 you have ten here with the ten of pentacles and then you have judgment which is 20 so that's ten 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 so make sure you research those uh codes for those that are into numer numerology and angel angel numbers higher front this is marriage we just have the wedding card no, was that the other sign? Oh, that was Aries sign. I thought that was Tar you, Taurus. Oh, my goodness. I'm back at the Aries. They had pulled wedding. But this is um, this represents marriage. This represents tradition, um, conformity, you know, just trying to do things right in a legal, legalistic way. Um, but the wedding card showing up, this means that this true love could be going into a marriage, could be leading that way. Someone could be going away to get proposed to, to get married, okay? All right, and this means that you're accepting change. And so truly with these two cards, if especially if somebody's gonna get proposed to, change is coming, okay? Or your relationship can be deepening to the level of a marriage. But this, this also means you're maintaining control of something. This is, like I said, action change. And this also could represent somebody getting a new car, a new vehicle as well, all right? This means somebody's moving on. So I feel like you're moving on from that place that you were in, especially from um, from that. You've moved on from that place because, you know, whoever was gossiping, um, you know, just wreaking havoc. Uh, this also could have represent overindulgence. So it could mean that you're moving on from just being, you know, um, 
feeling alone, feeling of a place that you, you did not be. You're moving on from having a lack of stability and a lack of resources. This uh, could definitely mean all of this, okay? Because you have to move, you're moving on from that place because you have control now. You have control, you are maintaining control now and you found your peace. You're finding peace and self-forgiveness, okay? Because Spirit said, this is the perfect time. This, now is the perfect time for you to move over from this, but I need you to make every effort that you need to make, okay? Make every effort that you need to make. And with the judgment being your overarching energy, this is, again, I think this is the energy you're coming out of, you know, when you had self-doubt, um, when you, you know, didn't, it, it had a lack of self-awareness. This is that space right here, but you're, you're moving on from that. You're moving on for that. That's why Spirit said, come to me now so I can give you clarity of where you need to go, okay? But your love is looking good. Everything is looking good. It seems like you're coming out of that space. It's happening slow, but you know, Taurus, we move slow. We just move. You can't speed us up, but Spirit is saying, okay, now's the time, so let's make some moves, okay? All right, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.